Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome again to this series of Azure DevOps Learning. So in today's session, I am going to share a few ideas about using Azure DevOps queries. So I'm, I'm sharing Agile Scrum Project 2023 that I have used for uh, this particular Azure DevOps Learning series. So if we click on Overview, we can get some details about uh, this project and uh, in order to start with the queries so we have to bring mouse to the boards and click on queries so here we can see there are some queries uh, one of them is a shared query uh, there is a, another one uh, which is you know kind of a temporary uh, query which is saved in the my queries so what we have to do in this view is we have to click on new query Okay, so we'll get some default options. So let's say we want to design a query that uh, how many items were closed in last uh, maybe 30 days or 45 days in our current board setup. So we want to include all of our user stories. Also, we want to include bugs. So first we have to select is what is our work item type. So work item type we have to select as uh, we can use the in operator. We can type as the first one is user story. Second one is bug. And we want like the items which were closed. Third uh, operator that we have used is uh, third field which we have used is closed state. So this is kind of like three fields which we have uh, selected. So all we want is uh, we want all of our user stories or bugs whose state is closed and the closed state was from today's date till 45 days back. Okay, so that means, you know, all the user story and bugs that have been closed in our board in last 45 days from today's date, we want a kind of a, a list of all such user stories and bugs. So if I simply save this query and uh, I can say demo query and uh, there is a region I will specify. I'm sharing it as part of the shared queries. So I'm clicking, I will just click on OK. And uh, so this is the list that we have got. We have a couple of user stories and we have got the bugs as well. And you can see that, you know, uh, this is how the result has been displayed. It contains work item, title, assigned to, state and text. And we can change this, uh, this column listing. So all we have to do is click on column options. Let's say we also want to include the iteration path. So we can select the iteration path. We can click on OK. Right. And if we expand this view, so this is how it is coming we can click on save and uh, now if we go to the charts so we can define a chart uh, based on the query results so all we have to do is let's say this is our very first chart we can say uh, we want a grouping by work item type and if we click on ok so this shows the distribution of the data based on our query so it shows like we have seven items which were closed because our query is is tracking last uh, 45 days user stories and bugs which were closed and uh, there are two user story which are closed and there are five bugs which have been closed another chart could be uh, we can say give us a report based on the iteration okay so this shows the distribution how many user stories or bugs have been closed in the last three iteration including the current iteration okay and uh, the reason you know we saved this query under the shared query is that uh, if we save our query under the shared query then we can also you know uh, bring the chart uh, back to the dashboard so all we have to do is we can click on uh, these three dots and we can simply say add to dashboard so this will get added to the dashboard and we will have to select our dashboard so let's say this is our dashboard where we want to send this chart so we can click on ok Again, for this chart, uh, we can simply click on add to dashboard, select our dashboard. Now this particular chart will get saved to the dashboard. Now we can just go and see. So this is our dashboard. Okay, and if you guys remember it, the VLST video that I created, uh, we had the VLST widget or VLST chart added here. 
So it's taking time. So here you can see like we have a demo query chart and this these two charts have been added here and uh, we can always uh, you know if I go here and click on bring the queries view again. So this was our demo query and this these were our charts right. So here we can also edit it. We can name the uh, chart as like uh, we can say story books closed in 45 days. Okay, and if I simply refresh my dashboard, so it will bring the title change. Here you can see it here. Right. So this is how we can use a uh, query based uh, data for our dashboard. If there is any specific need where we want to design our own query so all we have to do is you know save that query under the shared queries and uh, use different uh, you know column options to bring out the necessary columns that you want to use in your charts and then group the data based on the different chart options so i hope you like this video and uh, if you are new to this channel please share and subscribe and thanks a lot thank you